Suppose we're given a map L from R2 into R2, which is also linear, and we have that L of 1 minus 1 is equal to 1, 3. L of 2, 2 is equal to 0, minus 2. Compute L of 3, 4. Now, we're given that L is linear, so what does that mean? If I take a linear combination, let's just say A, B1 plus B, B2, we're allowed to split it and then pull the scalars out. So this means we're looking at A times L of B1 plus B of L of B2. If I know how to write 3, 4 in terms of 1 minus 1 and 2, 2, then we can apply this trick to figure out L of 3, 4. Now, if I take 1 minus 1, 2, 2, put it in a matrix, take the determinant, I get a 4. That's not equal to 0, so that means our two vectors are going to give us a basis of R2, and I can write 3, 4 as a linear combination of those vectors. To do that, we just set up the linear combination equation. So that just says 3, 4 is scalar times our first vector plus scalar times our second vector. We recombine, I get a matrix vector equation, 1, 2 minus 1, 2 times unknowns A, B equals 3, 4. I call this matrix A, I'm just going to push it to the other side as A inverse. So its determinants equal to 4, so the inverse is going to be 1 fourth, and then flip the diagonal, negate off the diagonal. So it's going to be 1 fourth, 2 minus 2, 1, 1. We solve for AB, I get minus 1 half, 7 fourths. Okay, at this point we can check our work. We'll put those back in for A and B in our linear combination equation. That gives us 3, 4, so our check works out. Now we can stick things into L. So if I put 3, 4 into L, we rewrite it as the linear combination. Then I use linearity to split the linear combination up, factor out the minus a half, factor out the 7 fourths. Then we're given L of 1 minus 1, L of 2, 2. So we put those numbers in, and then we note we get a minus a half minus 5. So that's going to be our answer. How do we check the work? Okay, well, we could have solved this problem in a, another manner. Rather than try to write 3, 4 as a linear combination, I could have just tried to figure out what L would be on 1, 0 and 0, 1, the standard basis. In that case, I'm trying to write 1, 0 as a linear combination of these two. So you can work that out, same method. That would give me L of 1, 0 equals a half 1 and then L of 0, 1 equals minus 1 half, minus 2. If I apply same trick, L on 3, 4, but now we break it up as 3 of 1, 0 plus 4, 0, 1, we get this sum for our answer, and then we note it's going to agree with our original calculation.